Hello students. In today's lecture, we will discuss how to delete and insert data into your Excel sheet. For deleting your worksheet, for deleting entries in your worksheet, you can perform two kinds of deletion. Firstly, there is clearing a cell. Other one is deleting a cell. Let's have a look upon clearing a cell. Clearing just deletes or empties the cell's contents without removing the cell from the worksheet which would alter the layout of the surrounding cells. And what do you mean by deleting a cell? It is the kind, it is a cell structure along with all its contents and formatting. Deleting means to delete a cell structure with its contents and with its formatting. When you delete a cell, Excel has to shuffle the position of entries in the surrounding cells to plug up any gap made by the action. For example, if you delete, I'm going to delete this, then it's going to shuffle its all the entries here. When I have to clear this, then only the content of the cell will be cleared, not the cell. But when you press the delete, then the cell will be deleted. You have an option of clear in the editing group. This one. This is the option for clearing your cell content. When you are having the drop down, it speaks up of clear all. What does it mean? Clear all means gets rid of all formatting and notes as well as entries in the cell selection. The shortcut is all plus HEA. It clears your all the formatting and notes. The other option is clear formats. It deletes only the formatting from the cell selection without touching anything else. Clear contents means it deletes only the entries in the cell just like pressing the delete key. The clear content and the delete key is the same. Other one is clear comments. It removes the notes in the cell selection but leaves everything else behind. The other one is clear hyperlinks. It removes the active hyperlinks in the cell selection along with the formatting. The next one is to define the delete. To delete the cell selection rather than just clear out its content, select the cell range click the drop down button attached to delete command button in the cells group of the home tab. If you want to delete these entries, you just select them. You are having the delete command into the cell group. When you press this delete, you are having the options here. You want to delete the cells. You want to delete the sheet rows. You want to delete the sheet columns or you want to delete the sheet. These are the options by which you can delete your cells or rows or the entries. Now, when you press on delete your cell, you are having the four options here. Now, what does these options say? Firstly option is shift cell left. It means when you are going to delete this entire contents, entire row, then the cell will be shifted to the left. The other option is shift cells up. When you will delete these entries, 
the your cell range will be shifted to upper side if you want to delete the entire row then the entire row means the fourth row will be deleted if you want to delete the entire column it is when you click on uh, column values then the entire column will be deleted we have selected shift cells up you press ok and your simon shop entries are shifted to upper side you can view this when you press on delete you are having delete cells you are having options here shift cells up then the simon shop entries these entries will be shifted to upper side so this is the way how your delete command button works other one is how to insert entries between your worksheet rows and columns for those times when you need to squeeze new entries into an already populated region of the worksheet you can insert new cells in the area rather than go through all the trouble of moving your all the worksheet data like if you want to add the april month before this dot link then you just right click and press insert it is to insert your new column you can write anything here you can write april month here you can put on your entries in the following sections so it is a way how to insert the rows and how to insert the columns in the same way you can also insert a row if you want to insert a new company here then you just right click press insert then a new entry will be inserted here likewise if you want to enter here you just click right click press insert and the new entry will be inserted here so there is no need to move your whole data of the worksheet for entering the new entries in between this is the only way how you can enter new rows and columns into your already worked worksheet thank you